This is the check-in film for 14 Kings Avenue. The first thing you'll need to do when you arrive is get through the front door. There's a key in a key safe on the left-hand side of the house. You'll need to get through the side gate, which has a key code, and then to the key safe, which is just behind it. We'll make sure we send you those key codes before your move-in date. There's space for three cars to park outside Kings Avenue. Failing that, there's residence parking available in Kings Avenue, for which you'll need to get a parking permit from Chichester District Council. Once inside the house, you'll want to log on to the Wi-Fi. We'll send you the Wi-Fi code as well. Once you've moved everything into your room, you'll have a look around the kitchen, I'm sure. All the cupboards on the left are shared between housemates and contain all the crockery and cooking utensils. Generally speaking, the cupboards on the right are for housemates to store their own items of food or equipment in. Each cupboard, if you open it up, will have a number in it and you'll be able to identify which one belongs to your room. Both of the fridge freezers have numbered drawers and shelves for each housemate to keep their food items separately. In the unlikely event of a fire, there is a fire blanket on the side of one of the fridges. Do use it if you feel safe to do so. If not, the main priority is to leave the building as soon as possible and dial 999. In each bedroom, there's a smoke detector, which is part of a mains wired interlinked fire detection system. This will sound if it detects any smoke in any room. While we're on the topic of fire, no candles or burners are allowed in the rooms and it is a no smoking house. I should also point out we have a zero tolerance attitude to drugs too. We have a weekly cleaner at Kings Avenue, but you will find cleaning materials in the cupboard under the sink and also in the cleaning cupboard at the bottom of the stairs. The laundry cupboard is on the upstairs landing and contains a washing machine and a tumble dryer. There is also the option of drying your clothes outside in the sunshine. The heating has set programme times, but if you need to give it a bit of a boost, there is a boost button on the controller in the hall. If you want to control the temperature in your rooms, the radiators have individual thermostatic radiator valves, which you can turn up or down. During the check-in process, I like to remind people about a few things from the tenancy agreement that you might have missed or forgotten about. Rent is payable on the first of every month, preferably by standing order. We do follow up after a couple of days if you've forgotten and give you a little nudge. We have household insurance on the house, which covers our landlord's furniture and items in the kitchen and so on. It does not cover any items in your bedrooms other than our furniture. So if you want to arrange your own insurance, then um, you must do that separately. Likewise, we have a television license on the TV in the downstairs lounge. But if you have a television in your room, you are obliged to have your own license. We do quarterly maintenance checks at the house to keep on top of all the little jobs. We try and give a few days notice, but we always try and give 24 hours notice if we need access to any housemates' rooms. Unless, of course, there's an emergency. But we will always knock on your door before we come in. If for any reason you need to turn the water off in the house in an emergency, the tap to control the mains water supply is behind the door of the bathroom of the downstairs rear bedroom. So you will either need to access that bedroom with the housemate's permission or contact us if that person is out and we'll give you the emergency key access code to get into that room. If you get locked out of your room at any time, we do keep an emergency key in the cupboard under the stairs. Just call us and we'll give you the key code. When you leave the house, please don't assume that there's somebody else at home and make sure that you've left all doors and windows locked behind you. So that's the short introduction to Kings Avenue. We hope you have a great stay and enjoy your time there. Of course, if you've got any other questions, do give me a call or contact us on the WhatsApp group. Thanks very much.